what a day! What a lovely day! Welcome to Flat Earth Debate. I'm your host, Nathan Oakley, and if you're new to this channel, or you've not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you would like to support this channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside each of these shows while they're live, and a link in the info box below the video once it's rendered. But most importantly, if you would like to join the discussion, simply mute the page you are currently watching, then click the link in the info box below this video to join the panel and express your views on the shape of the earth. If you do join, please don't swear. If you do, you'll be ejected, and if you are, please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. You'll be warmly welcomed back on the next stream. Please also share the show. Sharing the show increases the live audience, of course, but this in turn increases the chances of a more diverse panel. So please, please share the show. And one last time, if you're new to the channel or you've not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth debate. Now we are joined by Arwin, a plain truth sleeping warrior, No Globe, Milu, Chocolate Saiyan, and Warren. How are you all doing? Doing great. Oh, oh. Good, 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 good. Excellent. Yo, yo, yo. Sticks and balls, sticks and balls. Proof the universe. You just gotta believe. Can I just sticks say that Milo sticks keeps and saying balls. that we're baby. Can I just say that Milo keeps like saying things like we are putting parameters to our own model by say by arguing different points? That's non sequitur. We are not putting parameters to a model, stop saying that. No, okay, so does yeah. water find its level? Yeah. That's a parameter. Yes, it but it's not that's, a parameter to a model. Yeah, it doesn't mean that we follow the AE map because water finds its no. level. That's ridiculous. No, I don't know what we live on. Neither does anybody. You're, you're describing a model. No, we're describing an attribute of water that nobody disagrees with. Okay, so this necessitates certain things. The, this, this thing implies this law that you just created implies certain things about the Earth that you live on. Yes or no? Uh, what? Do do no. do you agree? Do you agree that yeah. water finds water its level? Water seems to indicate that it's flat as a pancake. Of course. Right. You What's agree that point? water finds its level. What's your point? Of course. How, how, how do you so, get from so, water finds so its level? So how do you get that? How do you how do you get that on a curved ball? But every point on a curved ball is level. No, no it's really? the antithesis Relative of level. To what? It's not. Wait, wait. Curve Cur a curve is level now? No, it's not. Curve's not a, level. A, it's the antithesis a, of being level. It's not level. <laughs> wait, wait. A, no, I, I need him to explain that to me. A curve level is level Level is now? straight. It's not a curve. Please, please explain that to me, Milo. Alright. If, if you put a level on top of a ball, it is level. No. If you Good. put a level on top of a ball, it will fall off it. <laughs> That's what happens. Really? If I was to do that right now and grab a uh, exercise ball from a, on top of my fridge that no longer gets used by my wife and stick a spirit level on it, it would fall off because there's no level surface to put the, the spirit level on. Now, what if the ball was was uh, twenty feet wide? It, it would probably still fall off. No. <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't. Uh, no, but what it, would you be measuring? Not, what would you be measuring? Would you be measuring level? It level if you create, because it like, wouldn't okay, be. <laughs> In construction, if you created a dome... It's the antithesis it, of level. There's no level surface on it. So take so take your take your spirit level to a bridge that obviously has a curve and tell me if you can find a level point. Right, all right, let's, 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 oh, wait, what okay. let's start with a ping pong ball. Yeah. We agree that a ping pong ball is not level, right? It's, spher it's, spher it's spheroid shaped, right? If you had a level small enough, you can find a level point on that ball. So, so you mean, no, you, you're arguing Dude, for a balancing when? point? It's a level. It's level. No, you're it's arguing for balancing. There point. is no. So there was is... no straight edge on it. Dude, to put when the level did on. level become curve? This is nonsense. This is... I'm sorry. Right? Why are, are we you having this double speak right conversation? Now? This is just total double speak. This, this is total and utter nonsense. Okay, so you guys Milo, understand that? Milo, you, seriously. You guys, you guys hey. understand that a, a circle. A curve is, is a level of, when you believe in it. straight lines. <laughs> this is nonsense. This is double speak. Um, okay, take a spirit level, okay. take it to a bridge, go to the middle of the bridge, and lay it on the floor. Okay, so what you're saying is, because no, I asked asking, you was, I'm, you, I'm you, you, believe, uh -huh. you, you believe that water finds its level, and you agree with that, 
right? You're moving off. No. You're moving on from my point. Take a level. No, this was my original okay, question. I've just done it. I've taken yeah, a level I, to the I, bridge I, and I've put it on the bridge, which has got a curve. The middle. In it. And what do the you know? The, the oh right, you're talking all over me. So I've done it, and it would seem that where the bridge is going up, the spirit level doesn't show as level. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, well, yeah, you are. You're saying go to a bridge with a curve in it and stick a level on it. I've just gone and done it, and what do you know? The spirit level wasn't level. I said go no. to the middle of the bridge and put a spirit level. Oh, it. It just it yeah, just you gotta balance it. <sighs> is there balance any point? Is there any size? On. Is there any size of any sphere shape that would ever be considered flat? Or is there always an arc? In an arc, there is no the level. There is only the point that, in relation spatially to the other points, the where the where a surface, a flat surface, could touch it, it would be at a straight angle. It's only yeah. one point. That's not level. Right, so it's let's just, just the start angle small. on the ping sphere pong, ping pong or ball. on the circle. A ping pong ball can never be described as flat. Why are you going, why are you going to a ping pong ball when a bridge is a way I'm better just, example? I'm, I'm starting small so that we can get to an agreement point and then we'll push you it out as far as we get to. Live on a ping pong ball. Right, but let's because just start where we can agree. Because a bridge is not a sphere. We can no, agree we that a ping pong ball is not... A ping pong ball doesn't have a flat side to it, does it? The top. Do you think the top of a ping pong ball is flat? Do you think the top of a of a uh, a bridge is flat? Have no a top. Ping pong ball. Right, so take a, a level. Take a level. Take a level. Take a level. level. Go right, to the top. Go to the middle of the bridge. Arc. No, 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 no. Go take a level. Go to the bridge. Go to yeah. the middle of the bridge and lay it on the ground. And tell me if you don't see a level. A level. Uh... All right. So we're we're at the point where we disagree. So let's go back a couple of steps to the point oh, where we yeah. agree, and then we can find out why we disagree. So we can agree that a ping pong ball will not sustain a spirit level. Agreed? It's too big. The spirit level is too big. Correct. Yeah, if, if so, you had a spirit level, the size, if you were on, to scale on. that up and made hang the on, earth. Hang on. Uh -huh. Let's push the ping pong ball up. Let's call it a beach ball. <sighs> Will a spirit level ever sit on a beach ball? Depends how big it is. Right. It's but a it's a ridiculous always... argument because I have a spirit level in my house right now that's like three inches. All right, let's let's move the scale up. So let's, tiny, a ball. Of tiny let's call in... it the size of the earth. Will the spirit level ever sit on the top of uh, the earth and be called level? Yes. Really? So you think that basically you think that parts of a circle are straight? What do you think a circle is made out of? You yeah, think that parts yeah, of a straight lines? Straight. It's not made out of straight lines, that's for sure, unless you're drawing it on a computer. Circle is made out of straight lines, Milo. That's what you Circles say. are made of straight lines. That'll do for me. Thanks very much, Milo. Hey, it's yeah. 360. Uh, you guys are ignoring the bridge lines. example. You guys are ignoring the bridge Dude. example. Dude. A circle is 360 degrees. Just, oh, double speak when we hear it. Double speak. That's all you're doing. You're not even that fluent oh. in it. I'm the only one being consistent. <laughs> consistent. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Balls provide flat surfaces. That's consistency, is it? Go to a bridge. Nilo, we're, we're just trying. To we're just trying to reason with you, man. We're just Who's trying talking? to reason with you because I'm. I'm talking chocolate. Okay, I'm trying to reason with you, man, because you said that water finds its level. We agreed with that. We all agree with that. We all know that that's what happens in real life, right? So then yes. I ask you, how does that work on a curved ball, on a sphere, like we're told okay. that we live on? How does that work if water always finds its level, which you agreed to? How does that work? How does that work? And you said your immediate statement after that was, Curve is level. No, I'm, I need you to explain that to me chocolate. because I don't understand what that statement means. But chocolate, I want you to be honest because that's not what I said. Uh, you know that's, that's not what I, what heard. I said. Correct him, then. Correct that's him. what I heard. That's not what I said, though. What did you say? Correct I, him. Please correct me, yes. I said every, I point, every point on a, on a globe is level. Sorry, he, he wasn't wrong then, on was he? Globe. That's what he just on said. So he was that's absolutely that's what right I just then. said, man. So that's exactly yeah. what he just said. That's what you said. So everyone's in agreement. You're an idiot. Yeah, please. yeah. it's 300 so degrees. So let, me, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, Chocolate. If you were to take a level, a six-inch level, torpedo level, or it could be a 12-foot level, and you were to take it to the middle of a br curved bridge, you're telling me that you would see um, something other than level. Uh, that would depend on what part of the bridge I'm placing nah, the I, level I just, on. I just said the middle. I just yeah. said the middle of it. 
they would use more sophisticated Analysis. technology when you scale it up you have to use surveying tools and yeah you'd establish a level transit and then very quickly realize that the bridge raised an elevation <laughs> so, no, yeah. Nathan, you, what, you, you can, what my point is, is that you can. You, you, oh, right. besides, besides, if you just let me finish, my point that, is that you can actually establish that we, a bridge I has got a curve in it. That work oh, on a hold curve. on, chocolate. You're Here. saying there's no. First of all, you guys said that there's no flat points on a curve. There isn't. There isn't. There, I mean, so take the level <laughs> and take it to the middle of a bridge and tell me what you see. You're gonna yeah, see. Are you, hear, are, to are you hearing what you're saying, man? When you scale it up, you are you listening? Are you listening to what you're saying? Neither. There are you... no flat points on a circle, dude. You're you're telling me that the that the middle of a bridge is is in level. That's your no, problem. No, dude. We're Not talking if it's about curving. You you pre you preordained that it was curving, and I'm saying yeah. yeah. And we go and measure it, and what do you know? We find that it's not level. Yeah, because the bridge is so small. Now the Earth is bigger than the bridge, isn't it? <laughs> right, but we've right. just said it's not level. So we've got ping pong ball, we've got beach ball, we've got the exercise ball, we've got the bridge. None of them are level because they're curved. Not according to a level if you take it up there. No, I've taken it up there and it says it's not level. You're it's lying. curving. Okay. Like you said it was curving. No, and what do you know? You take a precision you tool. Are you take, hold on. You take a precision a tool edges. and measure it and it shows it's not yeah. level. What do you know? So what's your point? You're lying. That's the point. I'm lying, am I? So a the, guy the goes point, and surveys point. a curved bridge you and he surveys it. it flat even though it's got a curve in it. Oh, yeah, these engineers yeah. are just miracle workers, aren't they? They manage to yeah, survey to curved bridges as flat, do they? You know there aren't actually any curved pieces on a bridge, right? You've but just Milo, stipulated Milo, you that this bridge is curved. This is, this right, is, right, over right my you're getting question, better. Right? Your double speak's improving. I'll hand that to you. But it's still nonsense. You, you... Curves you realize curved. you just yeah, glanced chocolate. over my question, right? What was it? Because when I when I asked you, how does that work on a globe? You took it right to a bridge. I didn't ask about a bridge. No, I'm asking about bridge. how Anthony does it. Took... Anthony took it to a what ping pong ball, so I took it to a bridge. Yeah, that was that was after you took it to the bridge. No, that's not. Regardless, I'm not talking about a bridge. How yeah. does curved water work on a ball? Please tell me that. That's what I want to know. Because well, you, you agree to... that water finds its level. So how mm -hmm. is level... What does level mean on a curve? Ball? Level means curve. What does that mean? Uh, level yeah. means parallel. Because you said that a couple of times. Can you level means parallel, parallel it's, to... It's nonsense. Can you stop yeah. saying that level is curved? Because it isn't. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Man. That was me. I was joking at him. You guys Hilo, you, I mean, you don't, you don't see, you don't see how what you're saying slightly doesn't make sense. You don't see that right? if you take a level to the middle of a bridge, it's level, even though the bridge is you curved. I've just said no, this. It isn't. So okay, we went out with precision tools the bridge and measured the bridge, ball. and it was curved. By definition, yeah, a, a bridge is a section of a curve. Isn't no matter it? how big the circle, it's always going to be an arc. Never going to be straight. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, what, so what, level what kind isn't of curve are you expecting curved. On, on, on an earth? So are you going to concede this or are you going to keep with the double speak nonsense indefinitely? Level and flat, oh. right? Flat, level, they're the same. Curved, that doesn't come into that. Flat and level aren't the same. Yeah, flat and level are the same. But, but curved, wait, so flat and level aren't the same, but no. curved no, and level are flat, the same. Flat, level, that's they're the same thanks. things. Curved, <laughs> that's not the same. What the hell? Oh, man. This is my, the kind of Milo, level you... of idiocy that we deal with on these debates, where we literally have to get down to pointing out to globe heads that flat is not the same as curved. It's reached the point now we've proven so much how flat it is that they're now saying, well, flat is actually curved. That's the level of double speak that these guys will subject themselves to, the level of cognitive dissonance. Well, flat isn't really flat. Flat's really curved. <laughs> Uh, yeah, did yeah, you know on a right. circle there's, there's 360 we get, degrees Nathan, did, of straight did lines? Did we get closure on the radius point because he was talking about the, circum the circumference and all that? Did oh, we he didn't get closure have anything. On that point? He had nothing. Well, you guys, don't, you guys don't agree that we can measure. Um, you, we, we can measure distances between um, continents. So yeah, we do. We agree. Yeah, that. but you still haven't gotten to the point yeah. where you can no. tell us where you got from traveling around in a circle on a flat plane to a sphere. You haven't told us that. You just jumped because, right to the sphere and circumference and all that. You haven't told us where you made that leap. Because, okay, so when you do this, if you were to do this, go west and end up in the same spot you started, 
You have two options. So you're going to repeat yourself. You're right? gonna say it. You're either going in a right or left turn in a circuit, or you're traveling over the surface of a ball. There's so no proves, other option. So it doesn't no. prove then. Doesn't prove either way then. So now, okay, so if I sorry, if I told you to get into hold on, hold on, a car, hold on. let me just get an acknowledgement from him. So what you have described does not establish that we're on a sphere, correct? My next point does. My next point does. Go ahead. It's steps. There's steps. There's steps. There are steps. So okay, on a flat Earth or a globe Earth, the equator is the large is the longest distance you could travel in a circuit or around the globe. It's the longest distance. There are there isn't a greater distance you can travel. No, that's not equator. true. That isn't true on a flat plane. So show me. On a flat plane, the equator would be in the middle, wouldn't it? Yeah. On a flat plane, the outer, the outer edge where the ice wall that you're talking about would be would be the longest distance. And that's the problem. Yeah. That's a problem that, with the AE map. But that's Sorry, your we're not trying map. to establish problems with a model that you assert on us. Nathan, we keep Nathan. saying this. We're trying Nathan, to establish please. where you get to R, and every time we Anthony, get to the on. steps, you say the steps. I've got to take these steps. And then the next step is debunk a straw man. Yeah. No, it's not a straw man because uh, you yeah, guys it is. Actually it is. No, you're, you're debunking step, a straw you're man. We're trying to establish edge, where you get to the bit where you go from round in a circle to concluding you're on a sphere, and you say, "Well, uh, what I do is I come up with these two options, and only these two options, and then say that one of the options doesn't work. Therefore, it can only be the other." No. Nathan, round, round in a circle is the AE map. So if you're going to deny the yeah. AE map, so then what? you have to deny that we go around in a circle. I, I have done this. Then, right? Have you done this? Oh, have you traveled oh, around yeah. the equator in a circle? You've already agreed that we know. Sorry, the have you done this? Continent. Why would I need to? We've because already... you're asserting that it's true. Yeah, that's why. We have this thing that we do when we want to check something out. We check it out. We don't just assert it. <laughs> I'm relying on the distances between... Oh, the known really? Between. You're just relying on what you've been told, I see. You are too. No, <laughs> I'm not relying on anything. That's why when you bring up this map, I say I haven't asserted this as a model. People try this on this show all the time. They try and strawman us with the AE map. Sleeping Warrior, is there a distance longer... Sorry, uh, I was talking you to you. So we still haven't established where you get a spherical value from. Are you going to do that? Is there a step for that? We've already established yeah, we've there won. isn't. So, All you've done is present a straw man and the AE map that we don't ever put forward as our model. So where is the connection to sphericity? So, okay, so can we agree that there's only uh, two options? No! No! You deaf idiot! That's what I've just been through with you, you complete mong. Right? No. That's not what we are doing. You're not going to build a straw man to destroy it to say that your other winning argument of globeness suddenly becomes valid because you've destroyed a straw man no so are we are we honest people trying to figure out the oh no don't you dare accuse us of dishonesty just because we don't accept your shitty straw man how dare you who the hell do you think you are okay um that's not I've okay. I tried to so, present a so, third option to you, but you seem to disregard yeah, it at the time. I want to hear it, Arvin. I'm sorry. I want to hear it. Yeah. The but Earth, I, but I also rectangular like looping. Like. Yeah, that is something. And I can explain it in detail. I do on my own Hangouts. Then can you the show your screen? is a straight line. Like. And if you move over the straight honest, line equator well. point, this line determined by how the heavenly bodies... Uh, are at that longitude, then eventually you end up at the same point you started. Moving yeah, I, I in like straight, there you perfectly go. straight line. There you go. Do you, you don't have to accept Darwin's, Arwen's fairy tale and we don't have to accept yours. No, but I would like to see what this would look like. It doesn't matter. It's just a fairy tale. It's just a just so story of how it could be, right? Yeah. Now, he's not presenting a second option and saying, look, if that other option fails then it absolutely is rectangular looping. No, that's not what no, he's doing. That's what you're doing. Building up a straw man so that you can say you've won. Right? It's crap. It's a shitty argument. Nathan, Nathan yeah. the thing is that it's not even If you want to know more about my model, my presumed concept, then go to my channel and check out my hangouts about it.
Oh, no, hold on, wait. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually curious about um what what you think we 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 might live on. So I would like to see what that would look like. I honestly would like to see what well, this. Watch my hangouts. I have several. Like. Explain well, it. Do, in do you have? You don't have an example of what that would what that uh, would look like. Yeah, no. I do. Uh, readily available. So can you yeah, just put that up? It's on my hangout. Hey, Go watch Anthony, it. Anthony wants to see it too. Anthony has seen it. He has actually watched my no, hangout. He just, told, he just told you to put it up. Uh, okay, I need to find a map of what sort of the model would look like, which is still a rough okay. estimate with a lot of speculation in it. Okay, I'll look I'm it up. Go. If you hold on for a moment. That's, that's awesome. So this is the thing. So we have two options, and now we have a proposed third option. But the third option is only an option if it could be uh, presented. These are not if options. Just, These are just, models, right? Concept. We don't live on models. These are not options, right? That's why we scientifically validate things. Models are pseudoscience. This is just Nathan, some Nathan. other fairy tale. So you're saying, look, now we've got three fairy tales to choose from. You've got to pick one. No, not at no, all. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, that yeah, is what is. you're saying. You're saying we've got no. three options. No, there could be infinite numbers of options. We don't have no, to pick any of them. The thing is that this Earth Hello. gives us parameters. Hello. The distances between Hello. continents is a parameter. Can I ask you, can I ask you a question, Nathan, Milo? I'm presenting. Uh, just do, give me a second, do, do you feel like you have any intellectual honesty? I'm trying to. to I'm trying to yourself? hear options. I'm, I'm trying to hear you guys out. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm trying to. Question, but you're, Nathan, but you're not really I'm trying to hear us out. Hang on, Milo. I'm I'm present question he asked. You. Do you feel as though you have intellectual honesty? Yes. And if you guys can propose a uh, uh, a situation that that uh, can Make explain minutes. all I'm the physical um, all the physical known things that that we see on this earth, explain or prove. Right. Look, if if the equator is twenty five thousand miles around, and the distance below the equator is less than twenty five thousand miles around, you have to show this in your in uh, whatever presentation you want to. If you, if you have a third option, you have to propose, you have to hey, show this. And, you can't just and say, Nathan, just no, tell don't. me when intellectual oh, honesty, to, but you don't have to do anything. Would, the example of that would be we don't need me just saying, so I don't know if the if the equator is twenty five thousand miles. I love to. Around. I love. This I don't stuff. know if that's the case. Well, cho chocolate. Cosmogonical theorist. I love alternative yeah, models. I, so. I, I'm more than willing. I've got you presented now, Arvin, and I'm more than right. willing for you to present your views on the shape of the Earth. That's the whole point of the show. However. Mm -hmm. The point that Milu's making is that we have to present a fairy tale, and we don't. You can just smash the living daylights out of their nonsense and show where it's invalid and where they use logical fallacies. You don't have to present an alternative. You don't have to say there's only two options here or five options here, and you're going to pick one. Let's start discounting the options, and then la last one standing's true. That's not how it works. That's nonsense. You've got Correct. science you're to right. prove how things actually are. You know, these guys claim to be backed by science. You're not claiming to be backed by science. This isn't the model of the world, but I'm more than happy to hear it. Anyway, you, the floor's all yours, the mic's all yours, Arwin. All right. So, uh, yeah, if you're watching the Hangout right now, uh, you're seeing the a potential uh, layout of the rectangular looping map. So what you're seeing here uh, is basically a cutout of, well, how we could have kind of looked how it could have uh, could look when you look from very high up and if there theoretically was not uh, obstruction by air and all that so it's basically a, a downward look at the rectangular looping earth so the thing about it is it's looping that means that it's basically interconnected like uh, if you want to imagine it more in a way that is comprehensible if you connect the east and the west part of here the left and the right outer sides of this picture connect them like a tube but they are not physically connected like a tube because there is no uh, shape derived from it it's all perfectly flat it's just how the space is interconnected within this limited realm a spatially limited realm so this spatially limited realm the rectangular looping earth is looping from east to west at least potentially could be looping north to south as well but we'd have to do a lot more exploration to actually figure that out and the equator line and you can see it right there in the middle 
you move over it, it's a straight line. You go from east to west and you end up back where you started. You can go on forever for as long as your fuel lasts or whatever you're using to travel with. It just goes on indefinitely all over a flat surface. You just continue moving. And that's how it your, works um, on my conceptual model. Put your cursor on the, the far east of the equator line. There is not really a far east, but do you mean uh, Indonesia? Um, on this, on what you're presenting right end. now. How you doing? Uh, on the edge of the picture, you mean? Right. right there. So what what happens um, east east of that? Well, this exact point, this cross section of these squares, these latitude longitude squares, this point is the same as that point. So there's connected. It is there. This point is there, and vice versa. So this is this, tuber. This outer edge of this picture is physically connected to that outer edge. So this is within so, the looping yeah. confine. So you think we like might imagine live imagine Pac-Man, Milo, if you can't understand it. Imagine yeah, Pac-Man. That, that's that's way one way to imagine it, or you can imagine your yeah, computer well, screen. The way the way the way Pac-Man works is uh um, it, it literally almost phases into the other side of the screen. So what you're saying yeah. is that when we go Indeed. East, and if so it has a scrolling function, then you can, or you can center around the Pac-Man, then the screen will move underneath you in the same way. That is how we experience it. So you think we might live in some type of um, matrix or something? Like a, a Yeah, a like, like Neo a in, matrix, the, in the train station, like, exactly. So when Neo's a, in the underground... Especially looping confine. That's how I, so, uh, how I so, call it. It's a simulation, huh? Does, no, it doesn't have to be like a computer simulation. It's just a spatially limited confine that is looping. Well, if I were to cut this out uh, out of paper and I were to connect the east and the west, I, I'd have a, a cylinder. You're not you're not suggesting that the earth is a cylinder, right? You're no, suggesting I am not. Other, I'm suggesting that it is spatially looping and only to imagine the interconnection would it help somewhat to understand how that works, not spatially, but just how the land is interconnected. Then you can connect it, interconnect it like a two, but it is not physically like that. So I, how, do how be, there, there, I do not presume R. I do not presume R. I presume a looping confine, which yeah, is straight and level and flat. How can how can it be physically connected but not be a tube? Well, by Good taking question. out the presumption that space is linear. So that we might that be that it is infinite. Into... That it is infinite in size potentially. So we're phasing. I presume from we are living in a limited spatial confine that is looping. So what you're saying is that you can potentially be on both sides of that map at one time. No. You're only at one location on this map. If it is a correct representation of the Earth. But it is interconnected. Not a good story so if you move to one side it's and you keep on moving, you end up on the other side. Because it is interconnected, it is spatially interconnected through the loop. Right. That is it, an I inherent think... part of the system. Right. Can I ask I, a question? I th well, hold up. I think it's an interesting, it's an interesting um, thing, Arwen. But I, yeah, I also kind of feel okay. like the AE map is is um is more credible than. than oh, you feel loop. that? Well, I don't. Well. Well, because you're proposing might, extra I think things. This concept is rather than physical not reality. Model wars. Come on, calm down, Arwen. No, you're, you're, I'm, you're, I'm calm. I'm just saying that I I disagree. There's a lot of problems with the why, AE map. So, but why is the AE map more credible to you when you believe in a ball? I don't it, I don't get that. Because I can I I, okay. Correlation. You have, how do you? Because half of it looks more like a globe. That's it's come why. from a globe. It's a global projection. It's a spherical because it could projection. Either, it, it could only be map. in my mind. It could only be um one of two things. It could either be they could. the AE map or it could yes. be a globe. Because no, it's it's very biased so you're so you're on the fence. Go ahead, and there's no rules. I'm on, the, I'm on the fence for the sake of this conversation because I want to grow with you guys. Nate, we've had 90 minutes of um, discussion back and forth with what's his face. Um, I'm sorry, I can't remember his name. Milo. Yeah. 
Elo. And uh, Twitwit. I, I love you, Anthony. Twit- it's Milo. Thank you. Milo. Twitwit. Sorry. Twitwit has just said in chat, "I'm only here to hear a response to M. Scott Veach's video." I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make it uh, suggest that we drop Milo because he's dominated it for 90 minutes, and let's do exactly that. Let's respond to M. Scott Veach's but- video instead. But M. Scott Veach is not here, though. That's the thing. You guys want to be in a negotiation. You've, you wanna... you've had 90 yeah, minutes. You've had 90 minutes of nothing but philosophy. But no one's gonna come in my in my uh. No one's gonna, no other ball lifter is gonna come in. So it's it's so better. Does that means that we should debate. stop all of the conversations that are better than the one that we're having now right now, which is basically philosophy, right? Well, is it a flat Earth talk or is it a flat Earth debate? This is this is the thing you guys have to figure yeah, but, out. Uh, what I'm asking Nathan is, can we change the topic? Let's change it. You like. you know, okay. If, if the guy on the panel wants to stop you, though, that you know, I'm not going to stop him talking about a different flat Earth subject if he's going to force that issue. But he's got, you know, he's well, not proven out. Based on proven... that, based on the logic, I don't think he'll be able to stop himself from interrupting. So I guess that we'll not be able to address M. Scott Veach's most recent vid and Twitter where it won't get her answer. Well, can you guys do it on a QED? I'd, or I'd actually, I'd actually be okay with you responding to that. So <laughs> I'd like. What does QED stand for? Again, no glow. What does QED stand for? What does QED stand for? Yeah. Yeah. Eret demonstratum. It has been demonstrated. It's Latin. Right. So, can you guys do that on a a QED? When you guys get uh, get to talk to each other about um, different things? I've done it on a video. I've actually done it straight after. So, by coincidence, I was making a video and then. Anthony and I had a conversation literally while I was making the video and he asked me to tag on a little bit on the end because from what I understand, M. Scott Veach is asserting that no matter how, if you've got something bigger than the obstruction, it'll never be obscured because that's how it looks inside elevation. And Yeah, you can draw a straight line to it. However, there is an angular size reduction at distance, i.e. perspective, the thing that we say you should actually be calculating for, a secondary function yeah. that you don't apply. Well, I just did a video oh, showing it showing that you can, good, you can topic. hold yeah. on hold on you can obscure a car so i strapped this on i was using things of equal size uh, i.e two blu-ray cases and just moving one further away and showing that it became obscured but you? then after speaking to anthony he said well m scott veach's point is that if the thing's big enough in the background you know further beyond whatever's obstructing then it cannot be obscured i was like well there's a car being obscured by my you know three or four mil of blu-ray case completely obscured and it's because it's far in the distance not how'd that you, far how'd you obscure it I, I just with the, something in the near foreground Spectre. things in the foreground can obscure things in the background it doesn't but matter how put, big they are you, you see a very site? small thing like your thumb can obscure this whole sun that's on screen you just put it up right. close to your eye it's amazing it's called perspective can i share an objective Hey, Pete, how you doing? How you doing? Can I share an objection to that, though? No, there is no objection to perspective. It's just something everyone encounters no, no, every no, day no, of every no, life. Not an objection to perspective, an objection to your thumb um, blocking out the sun and why that's not a that's not a good um, example. Well, it is because it demonstrates perfectly exactly what I just explained, which is that things in the near foreground can block out things in the distance because they become smaller. Add to that the fact that they're dropping over an alleged curve and it leaves you guys absolutely screwed this is the thing. Not if, not if the thing that you're you're claiming is obstruction is a. Uh... I'm not claiming an obstruction. You do this all the time, Milu. You seem to get it somehow twisted in terms of who's asserting what. You assert there's a bulge between us and the things we see. That's what you assert, idiot. So why do you put your thumb in in your face to to block out the sun and, uh, and to demonstrate it? the effects of perspective? Yeah, you're getting it, dumbass. Perspective is real. You don't account for it. Yeah, it's sinking in slowly. I can kind of sense it with some of the Globers, not all so, of them. So how about you try putting your thumb parallel to your line of sight and, and tell me if you can block out the sun? <sighs> Did it in this video. Uh, Do you want me to play that video? I'll play it waste on screen. Of time. If you Honestly, a waste of time with this guy. Ask him what's going on in the screen now, Nick. The sun yeah, but it, it, it helps it helps make more flat earthers. When, when Globers hear his arguments, it helps uh, our point. I'm good. It I'm really good. does. No, it's what's happening. Though. What's no, you're exposing yourself. With Nathan's sun, you, uh, sunset here. What's happening? You guys need you guys need more flat earthers, I think. So I, I'm I'm good no, with you guys increasing it in in on popularity. Actually, thanks. You're helping that. This is an ad for a That's fine. If you think it's helping. Can I, I just say to anyone who's li- listening, when you're looking at Nathan's screen here, if you can identify the mirrored line, right? 
you're looking at the furthest it's possible to look out over a flat plane at the horizon. It could be many, many miles, but the ballers will tell you that the furthest you can see is to the hard horizon line here, which is three or four miles at eye level. This is so their let me, field. Let me ask you something, Pete. Where do you think the sun is in this, in this image? Where do you think the sun is? Well, the sun has been reflected against a, a contoured uh, mirror-like barrier. So all it is is just actually moving away, but you have the mirrored water line which is uh, uh, blocking your vision, so it stops you from seeing it. So when the angle of uh, the sun rays uh, get to such an acute level, we experience that as darkness. Then it's all so. It's pretty so let me, yeah. let me ask. Let me ask you this: When you're looking Pete, 90 degrees down, over uh, flat water, the sun is parallel to your line of sight when it's over your head, right? 90 degrees looking up, right? No, I'm saying if you look 90 degrees over water, and the sun is overhead. The sun is parallel to your line of sight, correct? You look 90 degrees over water. I'm not quite with you, man. So, okay, think about it. You're looking 90 degrees over water. Uh huh. Well, hang on, 90 sun, degrees. 90 degrees up like this, right? So if I'm no, you're sun, looking. Basically, you're looking. You're looking parallel to the water. You're, yeah, that's not 90. Of, degrees. That's yeah, 100 yeah. degrees or zero degrees, right? Okay, okay, fine. Your line of sight is parallel to the to the water, right? And parallel to your line of sight is also the sun, right? At sunset, you mean, at sunrise? At any point. At any point. You're not very, no, no, of course physically, not. Physic physically, the sun but is Na parallel Na to Nathan the has afternoon. perspective on his screen right okay. now. Yeah, this well, is side uh, elevation at the moment. This is side elevation. Oh, man. What's up, Spurs? Yeah, don't, don't boot me. I've changed my photo. Uh, wow. It's only me. That's perspective. How you doing, Spurs? Yes, yes, yes. Spurs, how you doing? Hey, Pete. Hey, Kosher. Hey, Nate. Right. Hey, Spurs. Hey, all right, Milo. You see, you, Milo. What's up? Milo. 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 You see, all right, so you, you Nate, look at Nathan's screen right now. Okay, you see how you see in this screen. Can I tell you the problem with this example? The Blu-ray case. The Blu-ray case is not parallel to the line of sight of the uh, camera. It's right in front of the camera. Uh, hold on. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, I'll address right. that. It's right so in front in of the your, camera. In your curve calculator, apparently we must and do at all times angle our camera down so what's wrong no, with not that? angle it down sorry yeah that's what they do on the curve calcs this is this is what i'm saying uh, no to... no you're saying it's an objection and i'm saying nah that's what you do in your maths so what, what what do you think what are you what are you yeah yeah i'm angling the camera down yeah that's what you do in your maths what do you what do you think this blue what are you what are you yeah i'm angling the camera down because that's what you do in your maths next objection <laughs> You're not, you're not adjusting anything I'm saying. Yeah, I angle the camera down, try to listen rather than speak when I talk. I angle the camera down because that is what you do in your maths. Whether we want to or not, we must in your maths. Okay? Next Chocolate. objection. I'm, I'm, say, I'm saying the Blu-ray case is not parallel to your line of sight the way um, the, the water would be parallel to your line of sight when you're looking over it. You understand? Is it? You have a line of you have a line what of sight this? over the what water that's parallel to the water. Yeah. You understand? So when you're, that's yeah. pretty parallel to me. No, you're, you're you're right, Pete. You're right. So when you're looking parallel to the water, nothing. Nothing. Yeah, the water cannot Sorry, rise didn't up. Didn't you just listen to what I just said? We never look parallel to the water in your mathematics. We always angle the camera down. Didn't you hear me? And did, did you hear what he just said, Nathan? He said the water cannot line, it cannot rise up, but on Above, a sphere. Right, right. What? what? He said what the if, water can't rise up. What, what, what the hell do you think this you, Minions you, DVD is representing? It's representing the bulge, the very fact that you have a system with gravity where you're supposed to be on the top of it, this nonsense. But according to your maths, there's a bulge, right? No, chocolate says something. And the two who are fighting it out and on the far side rope, the falls continuing to stay on. Shout out to Twitter, mate. Twitter passed that joint over here, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early for that, man. But that yeah, was, that I mean, it. anyway, I think uh, Anthony wanted to move on to Mr. Scott's video, which I think we should do because... Uh, no, J uh, Chocolate actually wanted to say something. Chocolate? What I wanted to say was, if you had a wave right in front of right. the camera... Right. Like, if some of that water obscured the camera... It would, mm -hmm. it would definitely obscure something further off into the distance, right? Something 30 miles away, 40 miles away. Right. Yeah, and if, if the wave was right in front of the camera, yeah, but if the wave was parallel yeah, to the line that's, of sight... 
No, if the wave was parallel to the line of sight of... How many times have I got to say? Your mathematics forced the camera to point down. You don't have level transits in your mathematics. That's our objection. <laughs> I'm, he's I'm, not I'm, getting it. He's not getting it. You're not getting it. If we live on a flat earth, no, no. If we live on a flat earth, and you look parallel to the to the water, there's no wave that can rise up um above your eye level. Yeah. Oh, really? Is, well, yeah, let's, just, let's just test that theory and let's yeah, play the video through and actually yeah. have a look at what happens. So we've got this in the foreground. Yeah, we've got. A DVD which is lower than the level of the camera's lens, which is at the top, although it's on the other side. And when I put it behind a further distance, it disappears. Not only that, you've got cars that are traveling alongside the DVD that physically travel into the DVD, even though it's a couple of millimeters. The, the obstruction in this instance is absolutely minimal. And yet you can see from right to left, a car disappearing behind the Blu-ray. Well, we're not talking about massive obstructions here. We're talking about an equivalent to the bulge something in the foreground that is small compared to something in the distance that's small because of angular size reduction like the car the car's considerably yeah, but... bigger than the dvd and yet it magically can be entirely obscured by a three inch or not even that half an inch of the top of a blu-ray why so because is, it's is, close is this, that's perspective is this exact... something you guys exact... deny the car according is... to you can't be obscured Right? You can't have this effect where it disappears behind it. Well, it does, because that's what perspective does. It causes big things to become small and closer to the horizon. That's perspective. Yeah, and let me add to that, that if you think about uh, looking down at your feet and looking up, that's your, your scope of vision, right? So something yeah. like the Blu-ray will take up a greater percentage than a Blu-ray in the distance where you, you know, it's a much less, much less percentage. Up in the right, but, it, but, but check this out, check this out, Pete. If they were on level ground and you were to uh, put the camera, the camera's midpoint at the uh, top of one Blu-ray, you'd, um, you'd be level with the other Blu-ray, would you say? Mm, yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So, so back to my point about if we lived on a flat earth and you looked um, parallel <laughs> to the water, the water's parallel to your line of sight, right? Sorry, we're example. not trying to debunk there this here. Waves. You're there saying if we're on a flat plane, right? We're no, saying something. that according to you, it is okay to ignore perspective if we're on a sphere. When we're saying no, perspective still applies regardless of what the shape of the Earth is. Perspective always applies. You just That's don't it. apply it. So how can a how can a three centimeter wave that is parallel to your line of sight obscure anything in, in the background? That's what I want to understand. Work out the angular uh, diminution of whatever your target is, and Ranty showed it recently. The math, yeah, yeah. yeah, that one too. No, no, Pete, Pete, no, Pete, Pete. Uh, he's onto something because I, I feel like he could follow me right now. If you look, Pete, think about this. If you look over water, you're looking parallel to the water. Think about a three centimeter wave three centimeter wave you're looking parallel to this three centimeter wave how is this three centimeter wave going to rise above the parallel Ronty line he showed this last in the last time, but, not last he, time. i'm just no, digging he, it out yeah, it'll did, be up on screen in a second he, he thought he did but he didn't because he, 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 he didn't scale anything he was just he gonna deny anything. it right scaling the perspective <laughs> scales it for him Exactly. You have to think about the scope. You have to think about the target you're you're looking at and what is. In you're not understanding. I think that, well, Milo. Maybe you have to think about Milo, 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 Milo. The best thing you're is not you're just nine. Is for you to explain yeah. what you mean and what you think should happen because we don't okay. get. Your... There we go. It's on screen. Okay. So Milo is being obscured by waves. And periodically, no. you can see yeah. the waves raise and obscure it. And fortunately enough, because of the way he's caught it, you can see that periodically it will appear. Sometimes you've got more obstruction because of waves, and sometimes you've got less obstruction. Now, these aren't massive tsunamis. This is a couple of feet swell versus an almost mill pond-like um, uh, body of water when he's got the really good images and we can see stuff not obscured by waves that absolutely do periodically rise and fall between you and the midpoint, the convergence line, and subsequently obscure things that are much, much smaller because of their angular size reduction. It's just a shame that you guys don't actually account for perspective because, yes, small things near to you can block out big things that are far away. That's perspective. Pretty basic. The, the, the problem, I want to thank my the audience. Problem. So the difference between what you've just seen with all the waves and what's on screen now is two foot swell of waves. That's it. That's the only difference. And yet we managed to lose 90% of this 
uh, whatever the hell it is, buoy, just by having a couple of feet of waves. Yeah, simple. So why are you denying this? I don't really get it. It's on screen right now. Everyone can see it. There you go. Simple as. We're going to address it. None of the images that you showed have a line of sight that's parallel to the water. That's the problem. Uh, so sorry, you don't your talk mathematics rubbish. don't... The problem is you like water. denying things, Your man. mathematics don't ever you have like that. Your things. mathematics... Why is that an objection when your mathematics never, ever have us parallel? They never have a level transit in your mathematics. Nathan, you believe we live on a flat earth, so why... Sorry, uh... I'm not asserting that you can prove anything with this. You are asserting that we've got a bulge between us and Target because of the sphericity mm -hmm. of Earth. That's what you assert. I say we yeah. see things because they're there, and we do have perspective, and perspective can block things in the distance. You say there's a bulge, always there. Okay, so so okay, so okay, let's, let, let's stick on um, the The bulge, earth. where is it? Where's the bulge? But we have before we move there. We have to we have to stick on the flat Earth because we no, we don't. Yeah, We're trying to establish do. why there's photo. Why are the photographs that we see of stuff in the distance not got a bulge in them when there's calm seas? Nathan, but the only thing the, the only thing you're ignoring is that I'm not ignoring wave. anything. You're ignoring me. Where's the bulge? That's my question. The only way a wave can obstruct your vision is if we lived on a ball. No, you, uh, you're such a perspective denier, it's untrue. Yeah, you, you're just a perspective denier. I've just shown you how perspective can block things from view. All right. A wave in All the right. foreground or a DVD yeah. in the foreground can block a car in the distance because of an angular right. size reduction. Yet you want to assert that we can only have obstruction on a globe. You are an idiot. Right, Milo, Milo. Can you demonstrate any of what you're saying, or are you just going yeah, to well, I, I, cause, uh, cause I, I, I want to, I want to take you guys through this real quick. So, if you had a long, uh, if you had a long hallway, if you could, Milo, Milo, uh, can, you can you demonstrate anything. what you're talking about? I am. Well, how are you demonstrating? What? It, well, are you going to let me, or are you just going to keep talking? Oh, you've been on for two hangouts. You haven't demonstrated anything, man. You guys don't let anybody talk. That's the problem. Yeah, but that's the thing. Ah, what are you we talking about? You've been talking. Talk Milo, there's no more. We don't need to talk. We want you to show a practical demonstration of what you're talking. Yeah, shown... we all know you know the earth is flat. And Milo, we've shown you images of how it works. And you're no, still... you haven't. You're, still... you're asserting how it works. Milo, we've mm -hmm. just shown you something of how we think it works. Now how you, you think it works. Show... Milo, you show an image of how you think it think it works. Yeah? Well, I'm going to show you an image of a hallway. Maybe maybe I can make my point better like that. Yeah, show an image of how you think it works. Uh, you think, you, would you say a hallway is a, is a proper... No, no, not what I think, Milo. Show an image of how you think yeah. it works. We've just shown you what the way, how yeah. we think it works. You said that's wrong. So now you show, look, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be like this, right? So we have a comparison. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to um, share my screen in a second. Hold up. Continue on. So don't ask us any questions because we didn't ask you, do you think Milo, that this wave should cover this? We told you how it works. So you should now okay. tell us, well, no, this is wrong and this is how it works. And my computer is bugging out now. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, like, my, my computer is messed up right now. But uh, if, if any of you guys could pull up uh, 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 an image of a hallway. You're having possible? a laugh. You want us to make your crap example Okay, no, no, you. I got it. I got it back. I got it back. I got it back. All right. You guys seeing my screen? Uh, let me see where, where I'm going to look up an image of a long hallway, which illustrates perspective and um, how we see things. Uh, why? You don't account for it in your mathematics. So our point of how perspective works, I don't really understand why you're going to illustrate this. Are you going to demonstrate to the audience what you don't account for? Thank yeah, he's going to, you. He's going to show us how it works on a board, right, Milo? Not on a flat surface. Oh. Going to show what happens this on is a how it has to work on a flat surface, and if it doesn't matter, you you said this is how it works on a ball, didn't you? Yes? But you guys don't seem to understand how it works I on a know, flat earth. I know, but we told you that this is how it works, and you said this is how I'm, it works I'm on a ball. So show us how it... Get a ball. Can I, can get, I a get ball, through this? Well, get a ball and show us how it works on a ball. Can I get through this? Can I get through this? Can well, I please get through you, this? You can, but just be aware... Can you're gonna, you can, you can, but be aware you're going to be showing us how it works on a flat earth. 
Right? Yeah, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you that there's discrepancies discrepancies between this and how we actually see the Earth. Well, go ahead. Okay. Meanwhile, so you, you, meanwhile, you, you can show hallway? me how water works on a ball. Too. Okay, that's fine. Do you guys see this hallway? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. See it. So okay, yeah. we're looking. The line of sight of this, cap. There's like um fuzziness going on. Is, can, is someone making noise? Anyways, okay, better. So okay, the line of sight of this camera right now is parallel to the ground. All right. If there were a three centimeter parallel to the ground, um, absolutely not. Hold on, Arvin. Just let. Him get <laughs> no, no, no. Because this is not the, the important part. The camera is not Arvin. parallel the to the ground. Is... What a an absurd Arvin, the, Arvin, but the important part is how it works on a ball. So just let him get through this, and then we're going to go to the ball. He's going to show us how it works on a ball, on a sphere. Okay. Arwen, you think this is in the the picture is in parallel to the ground? Is that what you're saying? Let's not yeah. worry about that. Let's just get through your example Arwen, so we can get through this ball. The camera is at eye height. It's obvious. Exactly. Arwen, what are you thinking? What's that? The camera is, is obviously at eye height. Yeah, but it's parallel to the ground. <laughs> okay, fine. Yes. Yeah, it is parallel oh, to we, the ground. Are we, are we looking angled down or are we you looking mean, angled up? What do you it's think? It's pointing straight forward. No, that's fine. That's fine. Tracking, but who cares? We're looking perfectly straight, right? How do you know? Show me the side elevation. Oh, you haven't got look, it. You're just going to guess that this camera is level. You Show me the documentation. Show me him leveling it with a spirit level. Show me spinning it in a 30, 360 degree motion so I can verify oh, that. Oh, fine. you don't have any of this. You've just Googled it 30 seconds ago. And now you're asserting that the camera has a level transit. Oh, wow. What a wanker. Yeah, you haven't verified any of this. You're just asserting it because you're a wanker. If we had a three centimeter hump. If. What, you, what are you carpet. talking about? If. Go and find one with a three centimeter hump or recreate it like I've done with my Blu-rays. Right. Pulling up this crap picture and asserting that we've got a level transit really pisses me off. You don't know anything about this picture. You found it 25 seconds ago. So stop telling us how this picture's constructed. It's not your picture. You sure You've not taken it. it. You've not I verified will. anything about it. Crazy. Okay. Okay. Wrong. Lewis, look at how near the... Pete. Pete. Come on. Pete. 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 Come on. All right. How tall do you think an object has to be on the floor for it to obscure this light that's on the ceiling. I've just shown it. I've shown it with my Blu-rays. My, a couple of millimeters. I've anything. shown it. Where, do you want me to show you again? We're trying to show us. We've it shown it. I've shown it. I'm trying to show you. I'm trying Milo, to show you how. Milo, acknowledge what I've just said to flatter. you. I have shown this. Oh. Oh, do you want me to show you again? Your Blu-rays? Yeah. You think you prove something with your Blu-rays? You well, you're not anything proving anything. You're showing us a hallway and asking us to conceptualize where I have physically shown it. That you do have an angular size reduction at distance and a oh, small Lord. sliver of Blu-ray, which was transparent enough to see the thing being obscured behind it. Yeah, that was demonstrated. This there, isn't a demonstration isn't a of anything you're asking us to conceptualize. How much we think would be obscured if this Point. is nonsense. You're saying that things can be obscured. Yeah, I've shown it for the second and third time. I had it up on screen. Yeah, I showed it. I went and physically did this myself in about two and a half minutes this morning. I actually did something rather than telling us to conceptualize as you go and wiki or Google search a hallway and then give us a crap point of nothing to do with your you argument with sphericity. You haven't, you haven't shown a parallel line of sight, Nathan. What I do don't need to, to show a parallel line of sight. Your model has the camera angle down. I dealt with this objection immediately. Look, there isn't a th three centimeter object that can obscure the light on the ceiling. There isn't. It's just not possible. It will never happen. You're a three a centimeter denier. Anthony. A yeah, but my light. It's not the distance. Does this my floor? Light. Does this floor have my waves? It's not the distance between that's, this that are going to come up. The thing and... covering it and the <laughs> yeah. thing that's being covered. So if you, have, if you add more distance, it will get mm -hmm. covered. So what you're saying is that if the, can you see my screen still? Yes. Okay, so you're saying is if if there was a let's say a two foot, I think a two foot a two now. foot thing a two foot object here, you're saying that if this hallway was longer, that this would go down and and it would have this light would go down and be obscured by this two foot um object here. Well, you yeah, can I've shown it. it was on screen. It was literally on screen. When it's close, 
it's visible. And when it's far away, it's obscured because it's had an angular size reduction because of its increased distance. Not only that, you can see massive things in the very far distance as far as this scale is concerned, i.e. the cars going past and being obscured by Stop approximately it. three or four millimetres of Blu-ray case because it's closer. That's perspective. Something you guys omit from your Pete. calculations. Pete. Pete, so let's, let's, let's... Stop talking to Pete. You've just given us a conceptual example and I have demonstrated it. It is shown on screen right now with a car in the very far distance, considerably bigger than a Blu-ray, the first thing I showed, getting obscured. There it goes, being obscured. Amazing, isn't it, how perspective you can have a couple of millimetres of Blu-ray case obscuring an entire car. Okay, so, Pete. Yeah, okay. Are you conceding Pete. that your nonsense Pete. is nonsense? Pete. Pete. No, no, because you're... Because I want to deny a, perspective because uh, the ball demands it. All hail are. Nathan. You have to let people talk. If you're gonna, if you're gonna say stuff, you have to let them respond to you. You've said plenty. Right. You've had two hours and you've achieved nothing. Right. Praise, right. You praise me to R. You've literally proved uh, nothing. Right. Just obfuscated for so, the whole two so sessions. Files. So, 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 so my example as well. Think of the scale this, you're talking about. This. Okay, but this this floor is represented by the water. It's flat, just like the water. Really, there's water on screen now, right? And there's maybe 300 feet of land at 30 miles, and it's visible. So, not all the, of it. where's the obstruction? I don't get it. Where's the obstruction? Not all of it. The, the point is, it should land. be all obscured. What about That's... this boat? So this boat sits, well, I don't know, two or three miles away, approximately where you guys say there should be the top of the hump, the obstruction. And yet behind it, as though there was a straight line between it, there's all these buildings that are completely revealed it doesn't seem to be higher there's no hump so in this picture where's the hump i don't really get it it doesn't make any sense there's no obstruction there's no hump blocking our view there needs to be but there isn't so this makes no sense to me where's the obstruction where where's the, the hump i have hunger don't it bulges can satisfy so where are the three centimeter waves that can obstruct this you're saying that three centimeter waves oh you can want me to go, go back to that one yeah I'll, yeah I'll go and get that up yeah no problem because this is actually the view that was obstructed so, so this view right here yeah. is parallel to the ground. Yeah, you this have to show was the view that was obstructed by waves. Ground, yeah, by two foot waves. Distance. That's right. The view that was literally just on screen a moment ago is the this view one right here? that can be... No, this is a slightly different picture now. Okay. But the, the picture of that boat, yeah, with Barrow in finesse in the background, that is what was being obscured by literally a two foot swell. Where's the two foot swell? I'm just getting it up on screen. Give me a minute, give me a minute, man. Okay. And you have to show that you're you have a parallel line of sight with uh, the water. Why? In your model, we're looking down. Because it's a Whether flat we earth. want to or not, we're looking down because in your model. So stop telling us about flat. stop demanding level transits, right? Because that's not what your model does. Your model doesn't give us any opportunity for a level transit we have to point this our camera down this is obviously not parallel to to, to the water uh sorry you don't know anything about parallel? this observation so. it has to be parallel of course it does so right, you're you telling me if it's angled down, down? Uh, sorry he's now going on to whether or not the camera's parallel while well, we've got to totally obliterating his assertion that you can't have a two foot swell blocking things you can this is the demonstration of it this is in line yeah. with the boat and there. the town behind it there. when you've got a clear ocean when you've got no swell when you have a swell what do you know you can block the thing in the background out with a very These small images. wave in the foreground yeah These that's images perspective proof. so you have asserted that you can't do this when does a two foot wave obscure well there you go it's on screen uh, are you just going to take us on to some other nonsense now or are you actually going to concede like you haven't done for the entire two hours right there can i go. just say nathan so I've, I've what, kicked what's on screen now three... is the town behind with no swell and you can see the boat was, it's not, you can't see it in this, but yeah, the boat is on the same exact plane. It's a plane flat between us and it, the entire way yeah, well, between yeah. us and the town. Nathan, 18 can I miles say, away. I because A, I was getting tired of him just being an idiot, like denying perspective. And B, he just stated that these, these photos that you were showing prove a sphere Earth. So I kicked him because he was just being a denier. And he's like M. Scott Beach. He's a perspective denier. He makes up stories, presents nothing, 
and basically denies evidence to the contrary of his opinion because he's a perspective denier. Uh, he denies yeah. everything. I think a, a lot of it was, of he was face, just, he denies it. The denial was great in that one. He, he was he was just troubling, really. And I mean, really, I, after he said that, you know, you could find a level spot on a on a ball with a, a spirit curve, level. Yeah, curve is level. That that's <laughs> when I knew right then he's just trolling. Yeah, I've often I've often said that a two dollar uh, spirit mini spirit level calibrated and made in China proves a flat earth. You know, this is their argument that level is level everywhere around the ball. It's all fucking nonsense, isn't it? it really, is nonsense. And we learn certainly nothing from Lewis or Milo there. It's perspective one hundred and one. And of course, he knows that well enough as well. He's just uh, having a rip off of us. I'm just waiting for Pete to pass whatever he's smoking. Yeah, it's an ordinary uh, tobacco cigarette, man. The, the the other stuff comes a bit later on. So. Mm hmm. It's a great show, Nathan. Thank you. Mm. Whilst uh, Milo's gone, Nathan, is it worth extending the show long enough so we can respond to M. Scott Beach's video about perspective, perspective denial? Oh, wow. Or if you want dust on the shelf. We've, we've addressed it in debate with Milo, but if you want to go through it, that will drown out the show quite nicely. Do we have any um, scientific evidence of dust on the shelf? <laughs> yeah. Uh, to be honest, I'd rather, I'd rather not bother um, going through it in the, in the sense that there's only five, ten minutes left. And it, it warrants more of a critique than what we could give it in five or ten minutes. It warrants screen sharing and laughing at the points that he makes. I don't mind at all. If this takes another hour, I don't mind. Right. Well... Take as long as you like. I, I would like to see it. I would like to see it, Anthony. We need is we need the the sound of it, though, Nathan. You'll have to play it at the, part, like, at the relevant part so that the sound goes through. Because uh, the, 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 the key point that he does is he shows that... Um, he, he, he moves something back, and then he drops that the, the size of the thing that he's moving back. But then he moves the observer forward to it, and then states that uh, it's still a thousand feet. But he's moved the observer forward to it, which is essentially the point that he's trying to argue against. He thwarts his own argument by moving the observer close to it, and that's the point we're trying to make: that these objects are small when over distance. They're not the same size, and he denies perspective in doing so, and states orthography in doing so. And it's laughable. And I, it would be wrong to think that he's just being dumb. He's not stupid. M. Scott Beach understands this. But he pushes the narrative because he can't concede it because it destroys their argument. So he has to argue against it by trying to make things sound complicated. But it's really straightforward. If we live on a plane, things get smaller over distance. End of statement. If we live on a ball, things get smaller over distance and drop behind the curve but also a bulge starts to rise up from the middle part and that gets bigger as everything else is getting smaller. So there are three be, effects. There should be an x-axis bulge. Yeah, a bulge rises between the observer and the target and because that's only half the distance away, relatively speaking, it's double the height that it actually is because of perspective. It's closer to us by half. So it's like, it's the guy's a moron. He's dishonest. He's pushing the narrative no matter what. Yeah. And he's trying to make it sound complicated and trying to draw an orthographic representation to try and confuse people that what he's talking about is correct. But he's denying that perspective is a thing the minute he moves the observer closer to the target. So if you want to go and view his video, watch for the part where he, he shrinks the target and then he moves the observer closer to it and claims that it's the same height. It's only the same height because he's moved the observer closer to it. And that's the point we're making when the observer's not close to it that thing is not the same size. It's shrunk. And with that, I think I'll say first and foremost, a huge, massive, enormous thank you to all of the live audience for tuning in and hopefully sharing this debate. And of course, a massive thank you to all of the debating panel for making this debate possible. If you hated the show, then you know what to do. But if you like the show, maybe consider sharing it with a friend or subscribing if you have not done so already. I've been Nathan Oakley and I will see you all in the next video. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day!